The two-month dry run for the cashless toll collection has begun in select plazas today. Gerard de la Peña with the report. Signages are all over the North Luzon Expressway informing motorists that select toll plazas will no longer be accepting cash payments starting Friday. This is part of the two-month dry run of the cashless toll collection in all toll roads across the country. Included in the run are 23 toll plazas along SLEX, NLEX, SETEX, TIPLEX, Cavitex, Galax, Nai Expressway, Skyway, and the Cavitex C5 link. The toll regulatory board observed that there was traffic buildup of vehicles without RFIDs in some toll plazas, like in Pulilan in Bulacan and San Simon in Pampanga, where motorists were immediately asked to have RFIDs installed in their vehicles. Magiging cashless na raw yung lahat ng toll plaza. Kaya, ah, kaya, kaya na, ano na rin kami maglagay. There are also motorists who have RFID stickers but with insufficient balance. May dati na ako, ang problema, sabi ko, walang load. Kaya ngayon may dry run sila, kaya obligado nga lang magpapalit. At the Balintawak Toll Plaza, many lined up for RFID installation. Nakikita ko na siya sa mga advertisement pagpasok ko sa kapaglabas ko. Sa busy ko rin sugun sa trabaho, kaya gano'n hindi ko na. Oo, nakatay. The TRB said RFIDs are not mandatory as of now, but it will be eventually. Meron pa po tayong sinusunod na atentong ito sa department order na we can we should still allow at least a gasoline that is listed or napalitan at maamendahan. Nung walang mga RFID ay hindi na natin pwede papasukin sa darat ng nakalawan. If things go well during the dry run, the DRB will recommend its full implementation to the Transportation Department. Kung maganda naman po ang magiging resulta, na number one, uh, fully ready na ang datang electronic collection system, hardware system, ng ating mga toll operator for such an eventuality na full backlet na tayo, then we will recommend po sa DOTR. Toll operators have deployed RFID installation centers in various toll plazas for the convenience of the motorists. For News 5, Gerard de la Peña, We Are One News.